Yo, so I woke up this morning, Sports Center for show. I was really hoping that uh, the backup quarterback for the Jets do something for his life, do something for his family. I, I really was rooting for him to just do something spectacular. I don't know. I went to sleep, but I doubt if that happened. Uh, then I watched this guy, Seth Joyner, who don't play. Uh, what's my man? Warren Sapp. And I, Jason Whitlock. And my man, Brett Farr, is called Cookout. This man, Jason Whitlock, trying to demonize um, Deion Sanders. I couldn't believe it. Jason Whitlock is a hater, you know? Then he going to talk about uh, Deion Sanders, a Christian. He need to... One thing about us Christians, I'm going to be honest with us. When we study the word of God, we get so far away from who Jesus is and what he represents. Because the minute we start ridiculing people, talking about people, it's a sign that we don't know him. Jason Whitlock, you need help, number one. Number two, you're ignorant. I remember Dion was at Jackson State, and I'm gonna be honest, I had to make some phone calls before I opened my mouth. Notice I never opened my mouth. I was like, it seemed like Dion taken from the kids with the, um, you know, with the notoriety. It just seemed like it's more about him than them. I called my cousin Reg. Reg never responded because he probably was like my cousin bugging again. Then I called a couple other people. Some people was like saying the same thing. Yo, I heard a voice on the inside of me. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I know y'all don't believe in that, but I'm a different man. I have a new conscience that speaks to me. You know, it's my therapy. No, it's my therapist, right? The Holy Spirit. I know, I know y'all don't understand because y'all in the, a lot of y'all is deep in the darkness. But he was like, do you remember Dion was in college? And he told the people he came up with a character because um, cornerbacks didn't make no money. He said, I got to come up with a character that's going to get me endorsements deal. That's going to get my mom out the hood. Bow. He came up with prime Tom Deion Sanders. They loved it. And a lot of people hate it. It was more hate than love. So he had to create a character which later on was to his detriment because he was in battle with prime time Deion Sanders and who the man God made and who the man his mom had been praying for all the days he was going to church. So it was like a battle. So long story long, Deion Sanders is doing the same thing. Hey, without prime time, there'll be no Travis Hunter. There'll be no Jackson State. We'll never hear of Jackson State if it wasn't for the prime time experience. So now, Jason Whitlock, with your ignorant, oh, I can't do that. Jealous ass. Don't recognize, and you, you, you a Christian. That man is using prime time now for God's glory to attract something that we never seen before. Using it. To God's glory, no matter what it looked like to your jealous ass. Prom Tom. There will not be a bigger buzz than what we seen in college football if it wasn't for Prom Tom. So Prom Tom bring in the lights. Prom Tom bring in the reporters all over the world. Prom Tom want to be Prom Tom. But it's in Jesus' name this time. Jason Whitlock, get your life together. If you got to lose some more weight for the Holy Spirit to get through to your system, because a lot of times your spiritual arteries is clogged, my nigga. Too many cheesesteaks. Uh, lay off Deion Sanders. Because this year, it's all about prom time. Now I know why Allen Iverson don't don't like you, and he won't he won't even say your name out his mouth. Now I know why you're self righteous. I'm gonna tell you what my daddy uh, used to tell me. You're a crack addict. You stink, <laughs> and you 
that don't know Jesus. Jason Whitlock, come on, man. Stop. 